Today we're going to play. I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome to Life with Tina B. I'm Tina and as you saw today, we are going to be testing out the mini breaker from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Now, I know you've probably seen a lot of reviews on this, but there is a reason that I'm doing it. And that is because we're going to test it out on older skin. Being that I am going to turn 50 in February. So I thought, well, you guys have seen the mini breaker perform on younger skin. Let's see how it performs on older skin. So the palette itself is gorgeous. There it is. And I've swatched everything and I have been playing with the more neutral tones. So I thought today we are going to do some kind of iconic ish pink look from this with a hope and a prayer and hopefully I can do it justice because I'm not a professional. But if you guys would like to see me do this, then stick around, maybe like and subscribe and maybe we'll do more of these as new palettes and new things come out if you guys like it. So let's get started. So I think the first thing uh, before we go, obviously I have my tinted moisturizer, concealer, everything is all done, browser on, and I'm primed and ready to go. So we're gonna start out with um, Foreplay. I'm gonna use that as our um, transition shade. And wow, because she's like seriously pink and gorge there are some amazing makeup artists out there and there are some amazing um channels to you know that review makeup and and they're spectacular but i i guess i was just feeling like a little bit of what about like, what about me? You know, like, what about my niche? What about the, the woman or the man who is, you know, in their 50s or 60s or, or whatever? Like, do these products perform on crepey, well-aged skin? <laughs> So I thought, well, you know what? I'm not a pro, but we're going to give this a go. I mean, I, I think I can, I can hold my own doing some makeup. So we're going to do it. This color is absolutely stunning. I love it. So I think for right in the crease and maybe bring it a little bit into the lid, um, I want to do the purple punch right in the middle. I think that would be pretty. So let's give that a go. And um, I, I think guys that really, oh my gosh, is this ever pretty. I think that there's something to be said anyway for um, a woman or a man in my age range using uh, especially the uh, the jawbreaker because um, or the mini because these colors were actually out in um, the 80s and uh, we all wore them the first time they came out and they were not done as nice as this purples uh, as you've probably you know heard from you know, Jeffrey himself has stated it and other um, other makeup artists or, or makeup companies that um, put out palettes have all said purples are very hard to do because they they don't 
they don't they're not always easy to work with and it's true like back in the day when you used to try and blend colors together um, it was a muddy mess most of the time my goodness these go together so nice um, and and it was really hard to I'm just gonna take a clean brush and kind of blend these a little bit um, one of the things I find is that when you are um, putting eyeshadow on when you're older one of the things you have to be very conscious of is your blending and the reason being is that you have um, I don't know if you guys can see right in here okay and right out here you get a lot of crepiness and you will get lines in the shadow um, and it's natural because it's just it falls into the lines on your eyelids okay that we don't have tight skin like you do you know so um, you kind of have to to work the shadows a little bit to get them nice and blown out and then you you add more if you want to and the smoother and softer you can make it the better it's going to look and these are gorgeous like i mean goodness it's it's jeffree star like his eyeshadows are awesome anyway so you don't have to work so hard uh the next shade i think i'm going to use is the bite me down here and i i know it it's a shimmer but i want to try something i want to just maybe pop it just a little little bit onto part of the lid because I don't look quite grapey enough. Now I know that using shimmers can be, you know, the kiss of death on creepy eyes, but I don't care. I'm going to make this work. And hopefully you guys like it at the end of all this so it's it's kind of cool I I'm actually having a blast um, being able to do this and I'm thinking that I may want to do this on a regular basis like go through all of the palettes that I have and show you how they perform on older skin because I have older skin and I love makeup. So this color is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like a grape popsicle, you know? Like it's, it's like almost like grape Kool-Aid. Like it's so pretty and it looks fabulous if you have brown eyes this palette looks beautiful so um i'm gonna look great when i go outside to bring the garbage pails in from garbage day because everybody's gonna be like wow that is intense and i'll say i know right <laughs> okay so i think we will add a little bit of bubble gum and I'm just gonna go in here because you know it's not enough with foreplay we we need more pink and I'm just like just a hint I don't want to go nuts because I, well I already did but you'll see what I'm thinking in a second everything for me is about layering and continuously blending because the smoother you can get it the better it looks 
in the end. You know what I mean? And this is beautiful. Like if you take your time and you blend with his shadows, you you look almost airbrushed. Like it's it's amazing. I think I still have it, you know what? Not that I'm being conceited or anything. Okay, now I'm going to take oral and I'm going to put that on with my finger just in here. Now, I've heard a lot about, you know, a lot said about, you know, not putting uh, shimmers on older skin. I say, do whatever you want because if if you do it right it'll look good and if you feel good it's all good I'm not a professional never claim to be don't care but I am not in the habit of letting people tell me what to do. I mean, suggestions are always good, but now I'm gonna go into Purple Punch, and all I'm gonna do is the line between the oral and the, the Purple Punch, I just wanna blur that a little, a little bit. So you know, like you don't have that starkness right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Okay, so then I think for under the eye, I'm going to go back into foreplay and I'm going to blow out the bottom. Now, I love a serious color under the eyes. And fun fact, I don't often wear eyeliner because... Um, my heart medication makes my eyes very dry and they leak a lot. This is so pretty. So I had to figure out a way to really be dramatic when I want to be without using eyeliner because it always ends up halfway down my face and or it's settling into the fine lines under my eyes okay so you guys can see what i did here okay i like to bring it down quite far all right then what i do is i'll, I'll take an angled brush okay and i'll go into um i think we'll go into purple punch and what I do is right in the center, under the eye, right at the lash line, I will just bring in a little bit of that color and I push it right underneath. And you see, I don't know if you can tell on camera what happens. It just gives it a little bit of definition and it opens the eye up. But the reason that I do that is because under my lashes on the bottom I have a lot of fine lines like right underneath and the shadow when you you put like a, a blown out shadow you can really see it so I'll go in with a darker color and kind of just fill it in a little bit but it's got to be like tight to the lash and only in the center. Then I'll take a brush, like a, a smaller brush, and I'll just blend it, blend it a little bit, like right in the middle. So you're just getting that intensity. And the reason that I do that is because that is what gives me the the big almond doe eyes that i don't have really anymore because i'm older so 
<laughs> then we are going to use a little bit of the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Siberian Gold. And I'm going to take a little brush when I find the one that I want. Oh, here it is. Okay. And I'm going to just pop a little bit of shine right up in here not too much just to give it like a little bit there we go because I don't want a ton all right guys I'll be right back I'm just going to put some lipstick and mascara on and then we will talk well guys here you go and we have Thickest Thieves on the lips and I just popped on some mascara. And this is the mini palette on older skin. I actually like, uh, there's been a lot of talk about the, the other colors besides the, um, the pinks and purples. I actually like them because it enables me to do neutral looks with it, which I do like. So for me, this is a win on both counts. I love all the colors in here. And if you are around my age, don't be afraid to use it. It performs beautifully. And let me know down below if you guys want to see me review more eyeshadow palettes or makeup products on older skin. Remember, I'm not an expert. I'm just a lady who likes to play with makeup. We'll see you again tomorrow. I love you like mad. Bye for now.